playlist. So it has some of the same kinds of concepts. The way you use it is you begin by adding people to it that you might like to be able to speak with. So on the screen right now, you see that we've got uh, John added in and we want to have a conversation with him about budgets. Care. John isn't available to have that conversation right now, which is the reason what? why he's indicated in yeah. red. And I'm just going to go ahead and add somebody else from my address book. I'm going to add myself into this um, list and you can add a subject in too. So I'll put in, Frank's going to try and reach me to have drinks. There we go. And that's basically how it's done. Now the subject is a reminder for you because this isn't a persistent presence list the way a buddy list is. It's a list of people you gotta be able to talk yeah. to at a particular point in time. It will show you what it is that you're trying to have a conversation with them about. So you can see, for Frank, I'm available to have drinks right now. Now, one of the things that's gonna happen um, as you go through your day is of course people are gonna become available and unavailable as you go. You'll have your Blackberry strapped to your hip and all of a sudden partway through your day, boom, John becomes available to have a conversation with you. The thing goes buzz in your pocket, you whip it out and you have a look at it and you say, oh, John can talk to me right now and I can go ahead, if I want, just click yes and I'll go ahead and have a telephone conversation with him. Uh, it knows a whole bunch of things. One of the key concepts behind uh, Talk Now is that it's all driven by your current context. So for instance, if we pop over into the calendar here, you will see that, um, I have to get to the calendar, sorry. It's a little bit difficult, this angle. You'll see that there's actually a meeting set on the calendar right now that Frank has, which says that he's at demo camp. And so if somebody was to try and reach Frank or add them to their Talk Now list right now, Talk Now would be smart enough to know he's actually doing something and doesn't want to be bothered, um, and so they would show him as red. Now I'm gonna switch Blackberries here. I'm gonna unclamp Frank, and I'm gonna shove John into the vise. Can you see that? Good. And we're just gonna switch over um, and you're gonna see actually, what I just said isn't actually true for Frank. Uh, Frank is trying to actually reach John right now, and even though John is busy, um, it's showing up that Frank is actually able to have a conversation with, with John. So if John was, if, if, if John, if, sorry, if Frank was to try and pick up his phone right now and make a call to John, that would be an acceptable thing to happen. Well, why did that happen? I'll switch back again and show you a little bit more about what's on Frank's Blackberry. So right down below uh, Frank, there's actually another item in there which says dinner with John. One of the kinds of intelligence that Talk Now has is it knows about ordinary situations you find yourself in. So if you're in a place where you are currently busy but somebody that you've got a meeting with or an appointment with later on that day gives you a call, it's likely you're gonna take that call. And so in this particular case, for Frank, it ref uh, sorry, for John, it reflects that Frank is available to take his call because you can see we've got this dinner appointment down here later on during the day. And IOTM Talk now knows about all kinds of those situations. It knows how to handle uh, repeated callers, somebody you're having a conversation with about, for instance, uh, I don't know, getting together to go somewhere or a big deal you're negotiating or whatever else. And it'll, it'll, it'll show those people as being available as well. So I'm gonna jump back over here um, to John's Blackberry. Um, we've got a couple of other people here on the list. Actually, I want to show you something, that, one, one more thing that's kind of interesting. Um, one of the things that it knows, uh, it knows about as well is the relationships that you have with different people. So you can see on John's Blackberry at the moment, it shows that Alec is not available to have a conversation with him because I'm also at, at, uh, at demo camp at the moment. But I'm just gonna slide Frank's Blackberry back in here. I don't, can you see that? Yeah. yeah, you can see it, it's kind of blurry. But you yeah, can like see that for, uh, uh, for Frank, I'm actually available to have a conversation. So Talk Now understands this relationship that I have with different people and it actually presents the presence information appropriately to the person who's asking for it. It's not like an instant messaging application where when you go online, you're online for everybody and that's when the IM messages start pinging in. This application helps you better manage your time. Now, what about people that aren't part of your Talk Now list? So for instance, if we go back to 